Smash that limit up. Hello everybody. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to today's episode. How are you, Swiffy? Oh. Hello everyone. How are you? <laughs> That's a bit of a a bit of a um extravagant entry that you got there. Oh, my entries are, uh, it's mandatory that my entries are extravagant. Ooh, fair enough. So, um, you're probably all wondering what's with the uh, title. Well, um, Five Nights at Freddy's have apparently been out for a while, and I would like to see it next week. And oh. I've seen oh, actually, reviews. I should do the same. I should look at, I need to look it up. I need to look this up. I am disappointed it's only rated M, though. It should have been rated R. What? Oh, for fuck's sake. What, were you exp- what do you want out of the Five Nights at Freddy's movie? I want a horror. I'm, uh, I mean, I guess, but and, like, what kind of horror were you after? It's made by the same producer that made Megan, which was a piece of shit movie. Um, I, didn't, I didn't even know Megan was a thing. It's like a movie about a, a robot girl that is evil. Hang on, but I look not this evil. Up. It's it's shit, man. Like it's it's morally really... ambiguous. Oh, that's uh, right. I remember the trailers, yeah. but I never it really got weird. it. I never watched yeah, it. Yeah, the movie sucked like hard. I believe you. Um, horror. So, I don't know. Like I think horror is just escaped to from like modern producers. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. But um, I ha- so, okay. So I I'm trying to avoid reviews and stuff because I don't want to spoil. But yeah, of course. The fact that it's made by the same person that made Megan and that movie sucked dick. Um, it really kind of makes me on the on the roaring side. Although apparently it's like really successful. It's like made box office records. It's of being I, don't the second, know, I don't know about I I know I've I know a couple of YouTubers biggest, who are like yeah. obsessed with Five Nights at Freddy's who said it was like the best movie ever, so yeah, I don't, um, I don't know. I, I don't know. The I'm critics curious. say it's shit, but 80% of the audience on Rotten Tomatoes say Yeah, I mean, look, the, like the critics good. haven't exactly been, you know, accurate for no. the last, I don't know how many years. No, so. that is, that's fucking true. <laughs> um, okay, so it's on uh, October 26th. Um, I'm curious. When is it? When can I? I want to wear showtimes. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I'll find. I'll find. I'll find when it's on. I might go yeah. watch it next weekend. Fair enough. Um, yeah. So I, I, I think, I think I'm definitely gonna watch it. Me and Ray are definitely gonna watch it together. I reckon. Yeah. Um, for sure. I reckon. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I I think I think I'm looking forward to it because even if it sucks, it'll be it'll, it'll be kind of fun. It's, got, it's yeah, it's one of those things. It's yeah. sort of like, well, how long has Five Nights at Freddy's been out for? Like about ten years. I think it's been a thing for about ten years now. So yeah. to have something that you have a movie made about something that you were sort of like, oh, that was made ten years ago. Let's see what they're let's see what they're all about now. Yeah, exactly. So I, I'm I'm excited to see how it goes. Um, yeah. Apparently, it's going to go into the law and all that sort of stuff, which I'm not really that knowledgeable of um, the law. Because, so because, I, I'm um, not knowledgeable about the details, but I do know there's a guy named uh, William something. I don't remember his last name, but he killed a whole bunch of kids and stuffed oh. their suits inside of animatronics. Yes, um, was... Ray did tell me that's pretty much the basis of the story. Pretty much, yeah. William Afton, I think his name was. Um, is that cor- correct? I, I guess it is. Uh, I don't remember. But um, I could, it doesn't, I it doesn't matter it. anyway, because like, I'm kind of excited. And kind of oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely excited to doing it. Um, Gregory, you get in my chest. <laughs> um... I also hope that the animatronics are done justice. Um, I hope there's a I few know. jump stairs. I have a funny feeling that there isn't, though, which kind of... But jump scares. Yeah. 
Like, uh, oh, well, the the whole franchise is kind of well. Actually, no. Uh, the reason I think one of the reasons why I haven't played the game myself, admittedly, yeah. but from what I've seen on the many a many a many a Markiplier uh, playthroughs, is that the video games are successful. They they get a lot of success through. Uh, something that phasmophobia does really really well which is anticipation yeah um that's what makes it really quite frightening yeah i i think it'll be and that's good. what horror is is yeah. what it's all supposed to be about like horror relying on jump scares to to produce your horror film is never yeah. never gonna work uh you need to actually have an element of uh suspense and, yeah. and anticipation before you get deliver the final blow um and that is just how you do that. I don't, I don't know how that's you know completely escaped a lot of the modern modern uh, yeah. movie producers nowadays. But I, I love horror when it's done properly. You, rem- you remember the Nun? Yeah, I do remember the Nun. I yeah. fell asleep watching that. The Nun was really good. I I, I enjoyed it, yeah. but I didn't think it was. Um... Like I, 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 th- I think that like if I didn't watch it, it wouldn't bother me. Right. Yeah, like, it's I, one of those. I, yeah, films. it's one of those ones. Where it was good, but like, yeah, it was like it wasn't the be all end all yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. I did. I didn't really find it fun. Yeah. But I suppose I've got a different perspective on horror. Yeah, that's different. I, I, I like lots of different horrors. Really. Um. My favorite series is probably, uh, a, no, Saw's not a horror series. It's, Saw, well, Saw's, Saw's a thriller. thriller, I think. Saw's a thriller, yeah. yeah. Um, and my favorite is probably, I don't know, The Grudge, The Ring, the classics, you know? Oh, I love The yeah. Ring. I watched The, the Ring. Ring. good. My um, I think it was my uh, one of my it was one of my sisters who watched The Ring was horrified. And then I don't yeah. know how many years later, I finally watched The Ring. I thought this is the best thing ever. I love this so much. Yeah, yeah, it's so. Uh, good. I um, I love it. I. What's my favorite horror film now? That I think about it. The Freddy vs Jason one was pretty good as well. I mean, that was a fun action film, but I wouldn't. I, I don't know if I call it a horror. Uh, I don't know. The original one was pretty scary, and then it went to like went from original to like silly. Oh yeah, you talking yeah. about the two thousand and three yeah. version being yeah, silly? Yeah, the one where it was actually not um Jason it was the mother, and then I don't re- oh yeah, I don't remember it wasn't that. Jason was the mother because Jason was a bit of a slow man. So right. Say, yeah. Um. Yeah, whatever. What else is a really good horror that I really like? Uh, good question. Um, what's like the best horror? Mm. Uh, okay. I can't think of a good horror film off the top of my head. No, um, I can't either. Uh, have you ever watched... Uh, I did not go trick-or-treating because I had, didn't have the time. Uh, the best horror... Hmm, my best, I think the best horror film that I can think of. That's a really good question. My favorite horror video game. Again, I don't really, I don't really play or watch a lot of horror films or uh, yeah. video games. Um, I'm looking through my games list right now. It's mostly like first person shooters and uh first person shooters and uh real time strategies. Can't really find any. Uh Dead Space was all right. Dead Space 3 yeah, was Dead Space I think was Dead Space good. 3. Yeah, yeah. I, okay. So, you know how like Dead Space 3, I there was a lot of controversy around it. I ended up getting the limited edition by accident only because they just had that many and i just bought one coincidentally um i actually really like dead space 3 i reckon yeah. it's actually a really really well put together game um uh and even though it doesn't have that 
that um horror film that horror aspect to it that happened that was in Dead Space One or Two. Um, another another horror film or another horror video game. Valkyrie, uh, how are you? What's your favorite horror film or video game? Other than that, probably um uh probably. Uh, Phasmophobia or Labyrinthine. Labyrinthine, Those ones are a lot of fun. Labyrinthine would be mine. I don't. I don't think oh, yeah. Phasmophobia. Oh no, Phasmophobia is a horror, isn't it? It is horror. It is horror. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, for sure. It totally is horror. Uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to think of another one. Some of the Aliens movies were pretty fucking scary. Oh yeah, like, like the original Aliens. Yeah, they were pretty scary. Um, um. Oh, what's that? Have you ever seen Child's Play? I fucking love Child's Play. I I don't think I've I actually love, seen Child's Play, dude. It's so fucking good, especially Child's Play. Yeah, 2. Child's Play Child's Two is my Play favorite. 2. Yeah, that was my right. favorite. Out of all of them, that was my favorite. <laughs> I I absolutely love Child's Play. Um, Chucky is just so funny. I'm yeah. kind of I'm kind of really sad that they destroyed Child's Play, um, with the latest one that they did with um yeah, uh, what's his name, Luke Skywalker, um Mark Hamill. Oh, Mark Hamill, yeah, yeah, Mark Hamill played Ch- um Chucky, mm. and um he was basically told from the get go that he's not allowed to be himself, not allowed to what? put yeah he, he wasn't. They weren't going to let him um, basically put his spin on Chucky. They weren't going to let oh, him. Oh, yeah. God. That's like, that's just. Ugh. Yeah, I was pretty upset that they did that. Um, but basically, the Barbarian. Yeah, basically, um, he wanted to bring Chucky to life the way he always envisioned Chucky. Yeah. And. Um, and they were like, oh. they were like, no, they're gonna make him a basically a mindless robot. And he was like, Are you serious? And so that's what they did. They made him in the latest Chucky. They made him a robot that malfunctioned. So Ew. he never, oh, yeah, he never um got to like, because I would have loved his version of Chucky. Yeah, the I think original it would have been Chucky, a lot of fun. Yeah, the original Chucky was fucking sick. <laughs> Um, um, so it's pretty sad that I do um, remember that, you playing Madison Ray. Yeah, Madison's cool. Mm. And I wanted to go watch uh Winnie the Pooh, uh Blood and Honey, because sacrilege is fucking funny to me. Um I really wanna see that. Yeah, so did I. And then it just that just never came to be. Really? Why? Yeah, because I just didn't get the, I just didn't put the time together to go down to the cinemas and and watch it. Also, I don't. No, actually, no, I lie. I think that it wasn't actually showing at the cinema that I was at, that I live bit live near. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. So, um, do 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 do. I well, and also like, oh, twenty eight weeks later. Apparently, that's a horror. I loved that so much so uh later. which one was that one movies 28 weeks later yeah that's the that's the um that's the sequel to 28 days later the the zombie infection type film that was based um, in england what was the one what was the movie it was uh five days or six nights or something like that what was that movie um, it was like they were more vampires than they were zombies. I don't know. Um, that one was good. Five days, three. I don't know. Um, oh, actually, so my favorite, my I think my favorite. Have you ever heard of? Um, oh, I love. Clo- have you ever seen Cloverfield? Yeah, I didn't really like it that much. But I, re- I, I loved it I because, like, it's, it, a, yeah. it's one of the it's one of those films I have. I keep yeah. it because I love the camera work in it. It's really unique. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's kind of like it's kind to me. It's kind of like a case study. If I ever want to, um, uh, if I ever want to, like get you know, uh, sort of get a bit of inspiration for like some, for something creative, I'll I, you know, I've got something to sort of have like has a case study, and that to me is the case study of of uh, unusual uh, camera or screenplay, being that every the whole film is is just freehand because it's it, yeah. from the perspective of a of a, a camcorder. Yeah. And that makes sense. All time favorite game series is Amnesia. That makes sense because that is genuinely horrifying. Because that also works on um, that also works on uh, anticipation. From what I've seen, from also from Markiplier yeah. and PewDiePie. Yeah, it's um, that's a good game, Amnesia. Um, I haven't actually played any of them, which I know I is sacrilege. I haven't. In itself, I haven't but, either. Um, but um, I've seen Ray play it a lot. Mm. Have you um have you ever watched uh, House of a Thousand Corpses or The Devil's Rejects directed by uh, none other than Rob Zombie? No, I can't say I have. They're so good. Yeah. They're so good. I hi- I and the the cool thing about it is that uh, Rob Zombie was he was he was he didn't really ha- it's not that he didn't have a vision, but he really let the actors play the characters how they wanted to yeah rob zombie's halloween i think that's the one i've I've, I've actually got here as well rob zombie is just is just so um is actually an incredible movie director Yeah. yeah it is um I think I've actually seen that one. I saw it many years ago, around the same time I watched uh, House of a Thousand Corpses and The Devil's Reject. Um, I, it's oh, it's so good. I love Rob Zombie's uh, creative mind. He's just so good at literally everything he does. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, it's another horror movie that I haven't seen in years. Used to love. Um. Ah. Uh, what's like? I kind of. I'm getting really nostalgic because I'm like yeah. seeing all these covers. Like, fri- if you look yeah. at Friday the Thirteenth, it's got like this real like '80s, '90s yeah. sort of graphic design. You can tell, like, yeah, that was definitely when like computers were like a thing. You know, personal That's computers like, were like um, very much of signs. Very... Signs um scared the fuck out of me when I was a kid. Because, signs. Like, yeah, because. It um, it made me think, <laughs> um, and imagine. I'd be, what I'd be was terrified happening. if I thought as well. <laughs> yeah, well, it it made me um, imagine what was happening. Like for example, um, when the dog was barking and like dying. Um, that kind of uh... yeah. One hundred percent. I would Valkyrie to answer your question. One hundred percent psychological thriller. Hack and slash. I feel like is a little bit too predictable and a little boring. Um, yeah. But like psychological horror. Psychological is is like you're always on the edge of like, oh, what's gonna yeah. happen next? Yeah. Exactly. Um... <laughs> yeah. Same. I love psych thrillers. Yeah. They're, they're, they're the good ones. The ones where, like, they don't actually show you the monster straight off the bat. Yeah, like the ones yeah. that have actual thought put into it. Yeah. That would be great. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, uh. For sure. Oh, man. I, um... Oh, what, else? what else is there? Yeah, so I was just thinking. There's a lot um, of horror games that I like. I think one horror game that was actually a little bit too... I, I had a lot of fun with. I was I played many years ago. It was called uh, Condemned. It was on the Xbox One, or I don't yeah. remember. Yeah, Xbox One. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't blame you. Uh, yeah, there are some good horror games. I should probably play a horror film. Not a horror... Fucking hell. Horror game. Jesus. Um, I also just want to save up some for some audio equipment too. Yeah, I can imagine. Mm, I I actually I will. I don't want to segue into it prematurely. Um, yeah. Actually, let's keep. Uh, we'll keep on. Uh, psycho. Uh, uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll actually take you up on that, Valkyrie. Uh, 
and I'll play some some psych horrors and be like, yeah, this is awesome. I'm actually thinking, and I'm like, I, my heart's racing. Um, there was one time, I think it was a couple of years ago. It was a couple of years ago. I decided to play Phasmophobia solo. Yeah. Um, and that was a lot. Of, that was that was a bit uh, scary. That's when I started to. St- that's when I began my whole uh, going in without a without a torch. Yep. I just go in with and just started using a um a UV light as my torch, so that way yeah. I could have an extra space for equipment. Um, really scary when you're in a cre- really really dark house. I think it was the um, uh, Gibson's Gibson's farmhouse. I can't remember. Yeah, solo phase is the only way it's actually scary. <laughs> me yeah yeah, yeah it kind of yeah. makes me it, it freaks me out too because i'm thinking like dude like i'm alone like there is that's the one grafton farmhouse, grafton farmhouse thank you yeah. um yeah solo phasmo is the only time i'm thinking like i'm alone if this goes car that comes after anyone it's me <laughs> yeah yeah hey um uh, and god forbid that it's a banshee otherwise you're screwed <laughs> How do I give the mod command? What I don't know what you mean. Well, I want to figure out why shout outs don't work. Ah, uh, because I thought. Oh wait, no, they have to set it up that way. Because slash mod. Um. Because um. When we were with Rhea. Um. Rhea. Yeah, uh, yeah, R I E R A J. Yeah. Um, they tried shouting us out, and, um, they, yeah, clip didn't come up. So I was wondering if that's something they have to set up then. I think, I think they do. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't. But it doesn't matter anyway. Um, okay. Oh, I, fucking forgot to say so we didn't have um the podcast on sunday because that is I, true because we were just so fucking busy yeah i was busy doing automotive stuff um i was servicing my car doing the um yeah that's the setup okay that's cool um so I changed the oils on my car and yeah. went without any dramas. Um, the only reason why I couldn't do it Saturday was because um, I went to do it at my parents' house um, because I can't do it at the location I was doing it originally anymore. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I thought that, you know, it would be a simple, like, you know, take it in back, move my dad's car out of the way, which... Driving that Land Cruiser is scary. That oh, really? Because it's fucked. <laughs> oh well, that's no good. <laughs> it's fucked. It hasn't been looked after at all. My dad hasn't driven for ages because he's been out of commission for a while. Um, yeah, actually, had some pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty big health scares <laughs> lately. Odd now, but um, basically, uh, okay, so I got in his car. And realize that I'm sitting like this. The seat oh, has collapsed. Sake. So the right hand side oh, is like, it's like God. that. Okay. Yeah. See, so the seat's fucked. The steering was fucked. Like driving it straight. The steering wheel is like the top of the steering wheel is facing that way. And that's straight. Yeah. Um, it took like a full rotation to minutely turn the wheel. Which makes me think that his steering rack's gone. Oh my god! What does that um, involve? I don't know. It depends what it is. It could be just simple, like he needs to flush and re-top up the fluid because his is an old school setup. Like it's not an old car, but it's like an old school setup. It's designed for commercial use. Um, yeah, so everything is is just old school basic stuff. So the steering pump is is not an actual. So, like, say your or my car, the steering pump is what actually controls the steering. So, yeah. we put the input in and then it is um, 
controlled by the hydraulic fluid to steer the car. His is actually hydraulic assisted, which means that if the steering, the um, hydraulic system was to fail, he still has the old school rack and pinion set up where yeah. it's like it's directly connected to um, the, um, the steering of uh, the steering columns directly connected to the um, steering system. I've got the name of it. Fucking top of anyway, <laughs> um, where all ours is all hydraulically driven, like it's the hydraulics that turn it. So, so his steering's fucked. So I'm like trying to reverse this thing with dirty as mirrors because it's never been washed. Um, <laughs> you know, and then, and it hasn't really been started. hasn't been driven in months. Um, it's been started once a week, but it hasn't been driven in months. Um, and yeah, it's just it was a nightmare. Um, because I'm just like I hope people don't pull in front of me because I'm not going to stop it anytime soon because that's oh, no. on the brakes and all this shit. Like I'm just thinking in my head. Um, I mean it's like road legal and whatnot, but it's just it's just not maintained. Um, because he can't maintain it. He physically can't do it anymore. Um, so, so I move the cars around, whatnot, park his car in the driveway about the front of their house. And, and then I, um, pull into his carport, his, his car park, I should say. Yeah. Um, which is at the back of the house. Like you got to open a gate and everything, um, and pull it in. And um, I get it all in and whatnot, and I get all my tools there, which is a pain in a fucking ass in itself because, you know, I, I have a lot of tools. Um, yeah, it's just a service, but I just bring everything with me because if I come across something that needs fixing while I'm doing it, i got the tool to fix it. Um, so, yeah, that's what I do. Because when, when I'm doing a service, I'm not just doing oils and fluids. I'm doing safety checks. I'm checking the brakes. I'm doing this and that, like I'm giving a full rundown because that's just what I do. That's how I maintain my vehicles and how to do preemptive um, maintenance, um, which is what mechanics should fucking do. <laughs> and uh, so I get it all in there. And I could jack the front of the car up. And yeah. I realized that the angle, it, for starters, it wasn't safe um, because it's all paved. This driver is paved, but the paves have been moved with water and tree roots. So they're all over the place and uneven, which is dangerous because it means the jack stands because in Navarra's you have to jack the car up and take the driver's side wheel off and take the archway out so you can get to the oil filter. Which is really dumb. Uh, d- d- they fixed it on the on the new Navarra's, the NP23s or the NP300s, what they're called. Um, yeah. It's all accessed underneath the car, like a normal car. So it was only the D40 that I did this with. The D23, uh, the so the D22 and the D NP300, they they're all from underneath. It's only the D40 where it's like, let's just put it on the side of the engine block, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then let's put fucking wires, hydraulic hoses, vacuum lines, electrical uh... cables, fucking everything, top and bottom, so you can't access it from the top. You can't <clears throat> access it from the bottom. And you pretty much have to access it from the from the side. It's like, ugh. And, like, these hoses that what are around nightmare. it are not oil compatible. Like, you do not want to leave oil on them for long periods of time. It will eat mm. away the conduits and the hoses. Oh. So, which is why you got to be careful with mechanics. Um, because if they don't clean up after themselves it will cause damage. Their servicing will cost you a lot more money down the line. So just if it leaks your fucking vacuum lines, um, cause that can yeah. cause, that can cause other issues later down the track. Um, it could fuck your suction control valve. It could fuck your brake booster. It could, it could fuck all sorts of stuff. Um, so you don't, you don't want to, um, fuck that shit up. So what, what I do is I, um, I, so I take the archway out and I, and I stick my head in there. And I get a rag because the oil filter sits upside down, which is another weird thing. Cars usually don't do that. They usually sit that way. Like, so the, the bottom of yeah. it's here and then it screws to the top. And it's really handy doing it like that because when you undo it, all the oil stays in the can so you can extract it and not make a mess. 
but mine's upside down, which means that when I open it, all the oil comes out. So what you do is you crack the seal and then you'll hear it drain and then it will drain into the sump and the sump will drain into your um, your um, catch bowl or whatever the fuck you're using to uh, drain all your oil out. And so I put a rag because it sits in a cup and I put a rag around it and it covers all the wires and the hoses and whatnot. So if I do make a spillage, it, it lands on the rag and then I get some um, either silicon spray, WD-40 or um, electric cl- electronic cleaner and I'll use that to clean the, the lines if I make a spillage. The reason why I use that stuff is because it's rubber safe. Um, it won't damage any of your conduits or uh, rubber hoses where um, degreaser can damage the rubbers, it can dry it out. So should use that sort of stuff um, over the other products. Um, you want, basically you want um, rubber safe cleaning products if you're going to do that. Um, All right. or, or just water, water will be fine. So answer your uh, question, Valkyrie. Um, I get my fuel, it varies between about... 210 and 220 a liter. Yeah, it's about that here. It's about that here as well. Yeah, it's probably about that. Yeah. Yeah. So expensive. (laughs) It is. I put forty dollars in and got fifteen liters out of it. I was not happy. Yeah, it's one of those situations where it's like, "Mm, I wonder how long this can go on before I can't afford to get to work. I know, right? (laughs) Um fucking hell i get it for 190 where do you like uh, i should yeah. drive down to where you are and then fill up and then come back <laughs> yeah just like just buy a truck buy one of your mini trucks that you love so much fill it up with jerry's come down purchase all this fuel a year supply of fuel for dollar ninety. pretty i'm pretty sure back. i'm pretty sure it'll degrade to being unusable before i could actually use it if I buy, if I did that with a whole year's worth of supply of fuel, uh, you could always pour stabilizer in it. That would keep it longer. Yeah, I suppose so. I um, so I filled up the other day, right? And yeah, I got the last diesel, which makes me nervous. Not last diesel. What do you mean by that? So I filled up fifteen liters. Yeah, I went in. And they were going out putting their out of order signs in all the diesel pumps. <laughs> Ooh, that uh, that would make you nervous, wouldn't it? Yes, that makes me nervous because um, for those viewers out there that don't know this, fuel in general, whether it be diesel or petroleum, um, it's quite fucking dirty in Australia. And <laughs> what happens is over time, um. It settles, uh, like a, a sediment settles in the bottom of tanks. Um, yeah. Be your car, car, truck, tank, service station tanks, doesn't matter. It will serve it. It's like a white crap that it forms and settles down at the bottom because our the quality of our fuel is shit. Um, so in America, it's very different. Um, <laughs> and so if you get that last bit, of the fuel tank in any situation you will ingest that crap which will clog up your fuel filter and cause oh, damage to the engine. right so it makes me nervous because i'm very um proactive at keeping my tank nor any empty like especially in diesels never ever run your car near empty because it'll suck that crap in or um, you run it dry and then you have to reprime it. That's a whole fucking thing in diesels because it's not like a petrol car. Like you can run a petrol car empty, fill her up, and then start your car, and it will reprime itself and away you go. No, diesel is not like that because diesels are different with the way their pumps work. Um, usually they're mechanically driven. They can be electric. It doesn't matter, but um, in petrol cars, the fuel pump sits inside the actual petrol tank. So it's directly connected to your fuel line. Fuel line being like the petrol tank itself, the tank full of fuel. Um, hmm. And it will automatically just pick up the fuel from there and then send it down the line. 
where your diesel fuel pumps, they suck the fuel in. So if you don't have fuel that's um, pressurized from the fuel tank to your fuel pump, how's it going to suck? How's it going to draw the fuel in? Um, so when you get that air bubble or you just lose suction because, you know, you've got no fuel left, um, what you have to do is you have to fill up your tank and then usually at the, um, there's different approaches that companies do with these, with diesels is they'll either have a priming, uh, lever or priming pump. Um, or in my case, I have a little, um, like on a boat. A little primer bowl pump like that it's like a mm -hmm. little hand pump thing i've got one of them so those they run out of fuel i would have to sit there for ages pumping and pumping it Ew. drawing it up the line and priming the um fuel pump so then that way the fuel pump will actually engage and then um create the vacuum essentially um it's it's yeah you don't want to run out of diesel you should not run out of diesel it can really fuck your day um and it can damage your motor too so it's um it's yeah. the other thing that's that's a little nerve-wracking is that if you know if all of these petrol stations are putting in out of order on their diesel and so well there's there's diesel left right <laughs> yeah well the thing is is they they where i go is really popular everyone goes there because it's oh, slightly yeah. cheaper so they run yeah. out of they usually have to top up their fuel once a week or twice a week yeah, right. sometimes. Um, yeah, they go through fuel like no tomorrow. Um <laughs> so they said when I was in there, because I overheard them that they were getting another tanker coming tomorrow. The, like, yeah. the next day. So yeah, because they ran out of not just diesel, they also ran out of premium um What's the fucking top end range that you're supposed to use? What, 95, 98, uh, 98, and 91? 98, yeah. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know if I want to dress my car up as a Rudolph the Red Nose Randy. I could easily do it though. I could put a big, big um, nose on the Nissan sign, and then the antlers can be at the top and the sports bar. But yeah, I think everybody would think I'm a twat. Probably, yeah. I would have thought. You, I, I would. Think I would. I would look at myself in the mirror and think I'm a twat. Yeah, I'd. I'd look at you I mean, from the other, from the opposite side of a light intersection and say, "Yeah, what a twat." I need to get a haircut tomorrow. Every time I keep going to the fucking hairdresser. They're so like busy that I'm like, I don't want to wait. <laughs> Why don't you home? just go get a like a ha set of hair clippers? I can't do it myself. I'm just not coordinated. I'll cut myself. No, I'm not growing it you out. Can't, I'm not growing it you out. You can't cut yourself with a pair of hair clippers. It's really hard. No, it's more like it will be uneven because I can't get it outright. And I'm not growing it out, Ray. This is annoying I, me. I, it's why you have like clips and you have like little little sizes and you just stick to one size do, and do go you over your entire your head. Own hair? Yeah, I've been cutting my own hair for fucking years now. Oh, really? Yeah. I, um, I, should, I went to... Maybe I should fucking learn to do it because it is so expensive. It's $43 to cut, fucking have some prick cut my hair. Yeah, I know. I like, that's exactly why I anything. bought I um I I went to a... <laughs> I went to um, a, hair, a, a barber... Yeah. And he charged me, he charged me, I think it was like $33 for a haircut I didn't ask for. So I thought, nah, screw this. So I went to Harvey Norman and, yeah. uh, and then I, and then I bought a $70 hair clipper set. And that was like seven years ago or some shit like that. Yeah, maybe um, I should just do it myself. It's not difficult. It really isn't. Just get the biggest, just get a, um, just get a, uh, <laughs> Far out. Yeah. Just get a just get, get a hair, hair clipper set. Yeah. And then put it the largest size on. Go up this this back and size the largest size. Get your finger on the uh, get your fingers. Run your fingers through your hair with your other hand. 
and then just get even more length uh, with the with that um, with the extension of sorry in conjunction with the hair clipper uh, size that you've got on on your on your clipper, and so that way you get short back and sides. It's not difficult at all. They just fucking char- so, charge you six dollars so just by what I want dead ends cut off. Yeah, yeah Ray, yeah, Valkyrie, you really need to get a you need you need to piss that off because that's too expensive. Problem is, it's a little hard for a woman to cut her own hair because they got to do it. I don't care how difficult it is. You got to learn how to do it. Mm, I don't know. Mm, I often I know. I know. <laughs> No, you, if you if it's all you need to do is get dead uh, he, uh your uh, the, 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 the uh, dead ends cut off. Just I used to cut my own hair. Well, then you're used to it. I'll start doing it again. If I, it's, some of these kits, right? They're like I don't know. Say this one. There's one here that I'm looking on Amazon for 129 dollars. You don't need to pay that right. much for no, a no, hair no, clip. No, 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 just listen, right? $129. I would have already saved, made back that $129 in half a year. That's fucking yeah, exactly. crazy. Like, exactly. In, ter- in terms of, like, money saving and doing it yourself. Oh, fuck yeah. Because, like, it's, like, 40, how much did I say, 40-something? You said $43 or something like that? $43, you know, and I have to cut my hair every... Three to four months because my hair grows yeah that sounds, that, that sounds yeah, accurate yeah so like yeah just not going to a hairdresser and they always fuck it up like they always bloody yeah they always give like, you what not what you want exactly you tell them like i i'm very simple like i go uh three at the back, back three at the sides. sides yeah yeah short back and sides and trim the fucking front off get rid of this yeah. shit and what do it's, they do yeah. they leave the shit and they go do you want wax in it no i don't Fucking no, I don't want it. wax in it. Like, fuck off. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, no, I, I I can go without having to pay someone more than what it's literally it's it's because the th- the thing too is that you can make if fucking out words are coming. Um you can make it however you want. It might take a couple of goes to get it right, but it's not difficult. Yeah, it's not at all. Because, like, the other thing, too, is that you save so much time. Because what I worked out is that the, hairdre- the uh, hairdresser or barber yeah. really likes to get the scissors and, like, uh, likes to try and perfect around the sides. Like, no, put one size on the hair clipper and just go around it. Take you 10 seconds. Yeah. Done. Yeah. It's, just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because um, Phillips, like, because I really want the Phillips one blade for my, my beard. Cause, um, yeah. I can't use shaving gel. I can't use razors because razors Why not? irritate my skin and I break out in hives. Right. Um. So I have to use electric shavers. And the Philips one blade is not very expensive and it's interchangeable heads, but it's as close you can get with an electric shaver to a actual razor blade. As close as you can. It's not the same. Like a razor blade is always going to cut better. But um, Why don't you get like a, a manscape? Uh, oh, they're a rip-off. Manscaped's a rip-off. Oh, okay. All, well, no, man- all, Manscaped. all, all Manscaped is is Philips fucking electric shavers rebranded. Well, then well, get a Philips cut of well, thingy. That's, that's what I want. I want the Philips um, ones because the Philips is a pretty good brand and they make good shavers. I have a Remington one at the moment, which is just like, you know. I have, I think mine's a Remington as well, which I've had that for years and it's been. It's well, been put fine. it this way there's a Remington Easy Cut on Harvey Norman that I'm looking right now. It's $24 and has all the different codes. Like, yeah. I think one I bought was, I think, $70. But again, like best $70 I ever spent. Yeah. I've, I've probably saved hundreds, if not thousands, of, of haircut, of haircut, um, haircuts. Yeah. Which then I've used to buy audio equipment. The thing is, is like it's got to have all the combs that you would need. Um, what? That's the important you, you, part. What? The combs, the cut, cut yeah. combs, like one, two. The three, cut three. combs. You don't know oh, co- you mean yeah. like the blade? Yeah, okay, the combs. but that's what they called. Yeah, that that. Okay, I didn't realize they were called combs. Yeah, although it was combs. just different sizes. No. Um, yeah, I have like I mean, you only I only really use one. Um, yeah, well, I would only use. Th- 
uh, number three and number two. Actually, yeah, I would use yeah. three and two depending where it is on my head. Um, it, you know, what I usually do is get, I don't know what size it is. I don't really care. Uh, it's the biggest size it comes with, and I just go on, on my back, uh, over the back and sides, and then to get the the more length on on the top, I just yeah. run my fingers through my hair and hold hold the hair up, and then just with the between in, between um oh don't buy disposable razors um <laughs> between of the length between uh the fingers and the that long that long uh comb, blade comb oh um you get nice you get a really really nice top as well um Valkyrie, buy- what what is the um the Phillips one blade like do you think it'd be worth me getting it? Because I'm yes. so on the fucking fence for it. Because I've get you, it. Do you know what? The, have you seen what the Phillips one braid looks like? No. Oh, I'll, I'll get up on the thing. Give me a second. Hang on. I'm, I'm looking. You you made me go down the fucking rabbit roll, hole. Of uh. Well, goes. you're about to make me go down the rabbit hole. Um, oh, one of those. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It looks like yeah. That definitely looks like um like a a face. Just a, yeah, it looks it's like a face, face one. Yeah, it thing. is a face one. Yeah, um, um sure it's a face one. Here we go. So it's like, yeah, that it is, does, that's it is, not expensive. I mean, that's doable. Harvey Norman's more expensive than say if you were to get on um, Amazon. Um, I'll like for God, example, I would, the I'll, I'll never buy anything off of Amazon. This one here, the Phillips One Blade Pro Face, is ninety nine dollars. Um, yeah, but they've just they're changing it out to a different. And this one has got a, a um, adjustable comb on it as well. But apparently I've the got comb a does Philips Norelco One Blade Pro 360 for 50 bucks, which looks like it's, it's the most expensive one in there in that range. Yeah. 12 length precision combs, wet and dry the, use, battery indicator, rechargeable Leon battery. Yeah. It looks good. I think I would get a lot of use out of that because my old Remington's, the mode is starting to go on it. Like, you know, yeah. when like an electric shape goes, <laughs> like it starts like going up, yeah. and down, up and down and you're like, she's getting old. I've had it since yeah. I was 18. Yeah, it's definitely getting long in the tooth. I am nearly 30. Yeah. <laughs> Five weeks. In, um, in, in like a few months time, I'm 30. Is it okay? So Ray, is it necessary for you to buy disposable razors, or is it is it the the whole razor, or is it just the razor head that you're? See, even that's that is, not that bad. I mean, it's of. expensive, but like, look, that is quite expensive. But like, look, I don't know. You, I've you can, only used on my legs, since, this, uh, which isn't a great indicator for how good it is. Let me use a bit more. In my opinion, on it. yeah, shave your face with a. Yeah, shave your shave your yeah, shave your face, stuff. shave your shave your face, shave your your hairy face with it. Yeah. Um. Look at all the different heads. You get a nose trimmer, and you get beard trimmers. You get all the combs for your hair. That would. That's probably gonna last you a really, really long time. This thing would last forever. I would bet. Yeah. yeah. Until, until and it's a lithium battery, so <laughs> the battery will last longer. Yeah. Uh, I think my one is a lead bat. Is a lead battery? I don't remember. So no, I it is lead. There. I, it, it says PB, which is lead. Yeah, it's it's not doing for why, and it has white hair comb combs. Well, I mean, like, how many hair? Co- I, how, yeah, how many do you need? Like you said, three to one. Yeah, it's like you don't need that many. Yeah, like, but you when, you, when, you, when you when you when you buy them, you can only buy them as a full set. Though. Yeah, I understand. So you got to sort of look at it like the money per value, like how much am I getting it for how much I'm paying? Yeah. Like if, for example, uh, I mean, if I was paying two hundred dollars, which some of them, some of them I saw before, right, and it gave me yeah. the shaver and then just say these six combs, I'd be like, well, that's a fucking rip off. But the fact that this can change to all the different types, basically, this is your manscaping tool, right? Here. Right. This, yeah, yeah, this, yeah. This is. This is cheaper than buying a monthly subscription to Manscape. All right. They have subscriptions. They're a subscription based yes. service. Yes. Yes, Manscape subscription. Yeah, they send you a fucking package every so month with a new. No, I, yeah. no. Yeah, that's, that's gross. Fuck, that's exactly why I don't like. No, it. no, I don't like subscription based services. And if Manscape was ever to sponsor us, I'll take their money. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> We're never getting a Manscaped sponsorship. <laughs> I don't know if we'll ever get a sponsorship. Yeah, that is true. We gotta actually get a sponsorship before we um, get a specific sponsorship. Speaking Ray of fucking, Shadow Legends. Speaking of fucking Oh my god. I, I actually <laughs> won't touch that one. Oh <laughs> I wouldn't. Because I wouldn't be able to get people to fucking play it. Um anyway. Raid Shadow Legends. On um different note, have you heard about the South Park Disney uh episode? Excuse no. Okay, so South Park went there and attacked Kathleen Kennedy herself. Oh, really? And it was fucking hilarious. So Cartman gets sucked into an alternative reality where Kathleen yeah. Kennedy's in it, and yeah. all the South Park characters are ethnically swapped. <laughs> so Cartman is a, like a Hispanic chick. And oh, Kenny oh, I did see something. I did. Okay, yeah. I saw like a billboard, like yeah. not a billboard. I saw like a very like a picture sort of advertisement for it. Is that what that was all yeah. about? So fucking oh, funny. Oh god. Um. Oh no. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I do not understand how Kathleen Kennedy still has a job. Does she still have a job? I thought she was. What, fire oh, to, thrown into yeah. the ocean? South Park takes aim at Disney's diversity casting and Kathleen Kennedy. Yeah. It's fucking- <laughs> oh, here we go. This is a great picture. Uh, it's, it's a little shitty because it's not zoomed in, but... Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's fucking TikTok. Um, yeah, there you go. Look, no, Cartman's a black chick. And yeah, I um, okay, I did, yeah. I did see that. Yeah, yeah. So I had basically, no idea what that was yeah, all about. The but now I do. The alternative universe is like they're ethnically swapped <laughs> and gender swapped as well. Um, and like Cartman ends up like basically like having a go at Kathleen Kennedy about it and. It's, it's about, like, a panda jam and all sort of shit. And <laughs> it's just fucking funny. So funny. Uh, that's, I, yeah. I just got an ad for milk and yogurt flavored soap. That is disgusting. Yuck. Who would drink milk flavored? It's like f- fizzy milk. Yeah, that's Didn't you? Gross. Who drank pilk? Was it Ray? It was Ray who drank pilk, right? No, it was someone that Ray knows, I'm pretty sure. No. was it? Who was it that drank? Who was the drink pilk? I swear it was someone that was. Uh, I, I, I'm not too sure. I, I don't remember who was that was trying to drink pilk, but it doesn't matter. But. Oh, my God. Yeah, South Park is great. Yeah. Oh, how many see how many see? Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. How many seasons uh, of... There's a, there's a lot of seasons of South Park. Of South, I know, uh, South Park. 26, holy crap. Uh, as of March 2023, um, 326 episodes over 26 seasons. Whoa. Oh wow! And the thing is, Family so- Guy has twenty-two, uh, and The Simpsons has thirty-four seasons. So it's like right there in the middle between The Simpsons and Family and Family Guy, which I have no idea it's been how running. It's been. It's probably after The Simpsons. It's probably one of the ninety-seven. Longest, yeah, it's one of the longest-running cartoons that are out there. I think. Yeah, it's it's absolutely ridiculous. The, the Simpsons, Simpsons came out in 1989. Yeah, The Simpsons came out in the 80s, yeah. Cause, yeah, right. Because my dad right. saw the, the Simpsons pilot episodes in the theatre. Oh! <laughs> he saw the very how first was that? episode. Um, wow, how he was loved that? Us. He loved it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, he thought it was funny. We, we used to love The Simpsons. I grew up on it. I didn't, um, well... My dad hated The Simpsons, so by virtue, I wasn't allowed I don't to watch know, The I Simpsons. I don't know why people hate it so much. It's it's not. 
There's nothing about it that's hateful. I don't get it. You could say it's dumb and boring, but it's not hateful. I don't, I don't know. It's not that bad. And it's clever and witty writing as well, which, you know, you either just don't get it or... Yeah, I, I don't understand <laughs> yeah, what... Yeah, I wasn't... Okay, when I was a kid, I wasn't allowed to watch the Power Rangers, Pokemon, or the Simpsons. Pokemon? Yeah, because it was like, that was a promotion of violence. You're not allowed to watch it. They don't... They can't I know, I don't understand. I don't... Don't... I don't know. My parents are weird, okay? <sighs> My parents are really weird. Man. Even now, like... My childhood many... was stolen! My potential childhood was stolen! Even now... And instead I just... Yeah. Even now, like, you know, um... For example, my oh. parents... <laughs> My parents asked me. Oh, but Futurama was okay. My parents <laughs> yeah, asked cause... me to um to anything technological wise. They always asked me to do it for them, and I'm like, oh, yeah. for yourself." And like, but you're young and smart. And I'm like, and "That doesn't what it's it it doesn't mean like." I think the problem is is like there's this attitude with that generation of parent where yeah. they feel that um. They don't need to keep up with the times. Oh, I hate that so much. Because, like, th I mean, think about my it. Dad, how, how, my dad's yeah. exactly the same, and I fucking they, they it annoys feel, the crap out of they me. They feel because they raised you as children that you should always have to do what they ask and look after them and teach them or do it for them instead. Yeah, but, they're, they're, you're not yeah. going to teach them. Because really. no. they're like... There's this, there's this video that um that Jordan Shanks did a few weeks, no, probably like six months ago. Yeah. Um, about neuroplasticity, where you reach the age of twenty five, and then you just you it becomes harder to learn, or you just basically present as less intelligent as you were as twenty four and younger. I actually don't think that that study is accurate I because don't think I so. think. Because the thing is that I, I think they're they're observing the wrong thing from the wrong angle, yeah. right? I think after a certain age, you you don't become less smart or you you're not able to learn things. You just become complacent with what yeah. you know. Yeah. So your, your like, willingness to learn more. Yeah, um, and yeah. um, and if you've been studying something, if like say for example, you have a job, you've learned yeah. everything you need to do with that job. Your brain's probably going to say, like, well, I can pay my bills with what I know, so what, why do I need to learn yeah, more? Yeah. And, oh, God, my, my dad is just a fucking epi uh, an epitome of that. Yeah. And because, like, he's just so old. <laughs> um, he's, he, like, literally. How old is he, he, he is, oh, shit, how old am I? He's 67. He is old. Holy fuck, my dad's oh, ready. He's old. He's he's, he's old. old. My parents, he's, yeah. Yeah, my dad is so my dad is my dad's a he's lot older than me. Definitely in that generation of um Yes. They they everyone needs to do something for them. And like I find that as well, like um with back then it's like the wife did everything and then when the wife leaves them or they die. They like yeah. become so fucking useless. They can't even get their own food. Yeah. Their own no, food. my like, my dad. What is wrong with you? <laughs> like, yeah. Oh. My dad is the literal definition of boomer. Like you know, like yeah. night. You know, you know how like people born in that time believe that you know men had certain roles and women yeah. had certain roles. Yeah, my dad is literally he. I often find myself describing my dad as a literal patriarch. Yeah. Um. Because he's just, he's just fucking old, okay? Like, it's yeah, just it's... like, ah, uh, he, he's, yeah, he's, he's hard, he's hard to deal with. And he's yeah. also one of these people like that. He's also r a really, uh, really narcissistic as well. So he's, he's a very hard to get along with. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah, parents can be what, a bit difficult. As well. Yeah. But he's anyway. also like, yeah. So, oh, sorry. I'll, yeah. I was just gonna say, like, he's he's like he thinks that he can teach everyone, but he he couldn't teach a rock how to stay still. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, so, anyway, um, we're gonna anyway, call it a night. So let's call it a night. Yeah. Um, thank you everybody for coming to watch those that popped in, popped out. Um, and those that are gonna watch the vod, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope you are. 
yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we're going to raid into um, a acquaintance that uh, Spiffy get- and I met the other day. I'll whisper to you. And they're oh, playing power Ray, washer. Just wait. I've bought some audio equipment. Just you wait until I just you wait until I've installed it. Oh, you are going to hate me. Anyways, hope you have a good night depending around the world, and we'll catch you next time. Next time.